hear the sound
its weight as you can see is 60 grams provided in the description now what I'm doing is building uh, the charging circuit for this super capacitor now guys this circuit is a 220 volts to 12 volts DC circuit for charging batteries a video for which I made a few months back but I didn't use this circuit much so for that reason I'm going to modify the circuit by replacing the transformer 220 volts is the input and uh, the output will be somewhere around 4.2 volts So guys as you can see that I have given 220 volts input supply to the transformer and the output on the capacitor is showing 4.10 volts. Now what I am doing is measuring the overall short circuit current at which the super capacitor is going to get charged which is 1.94 amperes almost 2 amperes. So it's time to connect the terminals to the super capacitor and it's really important that uh, the red wire is connected to the positive and black wire is connected to the negative as you can see that the voltage at present is only 0.69 volts and increasing and after 6 minutes of charging it has reached 2.68 volts across the capacitor and this one is a 12 volts 55 watts car headlamp bulb this requires around 5 amperes to blow now this is a mini DC motor and it's working fine it's 1.5 volts now oh guys uh, this one is a 12 volts 6 amperes power window DC motor and I'm going to uh, run this with the super capacitor so as you can see that it has started running at a very slow speed the bike starter motor with a maximum peak starting current of up to 100 amperes and a free running current of 15 amps so I'm going to test this super capacitor with this DC motor Whoa it's actually running the DC motor although the speed is not very high but still it is running and running continuously it is not even getting discharged really fast this means that this super capacitor 500 farad has a large discharge current capability as you can see at just 1.5 volts the starter motor is picking up current and running really fast and more importantly the capacitor is discharging current enough to start the starter motor at 1.5 volts and guys now I'm pretty sure that if five of these capacitors are connected in series to create 12 volts then they would be enough to start